Good morning, you guys. Welcome to another vlog. I am going to be baking a recipe today. I have to shoot um, some content for a brand deal. I'm going to my first physical therapy slash like personal training session. I don't think I'll be able to film that, but I'll see what I can do. So I just wanted to show you guys, I got a box from Thrive Market. This is like not sponsored. It would be my literal dream to be sponsored by Thrive, but I have to bake using some of the things in there. And I just wanted to do like an unboxing kind of thing for you. I got some essentials because I know I'm going to be baking here a lot. I got the Thrive Coconut Oil, which I always get. I got these. Okay, I have these at home too. They're the elderberry berry gummies. They're open because I ate some yesterday. I actually really like the taste. I got, oh, I love these um, Brahmi Lupini beans. And this is like the main thing I need. Almond flour and some lilies. I love this stuff in smoothies and yogurt and oatmeal. I got Pacific hazelnut milk. This is what I love for like coffee and hot cocoa. I got some rolled oats, chia seeds, hemp seeds. My, um, I love this tea. It's sweet rose Tulsi tea. It's amazing. What else? Oh, some toner. And I got some boy sticks for OV and some smart sweets. I love these. I think that was actually like a free sample. If you spend a certain amount, you usually get like a free thing. Basically, it's just cocoa powder, salt, butter, eggs, almond flour is the base, sugar, baking powder, vanilla. And then I'm going to top them with these really cool bars from Johnny Doodle that I showed in my last vlog. The brownies are almost done, but I had to shoot a photo for home plate peanut butter. It's so good. I love the honey one. And I just made a yogurt bowl. I'm actually not posting this today, but I wanted to get the photo taken and ready. So it's good to go. Also, I changed because I wanted to make my gray, my grout fit the background of my food photo. So don't mind the costume change. Brownies are now out. I'm like a little nervous that they didn't come out well so hopefully everything's okay that's like the reality of food blogging sometimes you don't actually know if anything's gonna come out right you have to try it first so it's just trial and error and yeah wish me luck i'm gonna go eat my breakfast and get some work done i am so bummed because these brownies first of all came out like what I can't even. What is this? Like, I cooked it for even longer than it said. What is this? I have to submit content tomorrow, and I don't have time to create another recipe because the sun goes down. I might just, like, find another way to put chocolate on something. But I was so excited. This is a huge bummer, but it's fine. I'll figure it out. I guess, like, brainstorm and get some other work done and try not to stress about this. All right, y'all, it is the next day. I did not feel like vlogging the rest of the afternoon. I basically couldn't at my physical therapy session. I basically stick my neck out in addition to all my posture issues. So a lot of the exercises I have to do are like chin tucks and I have to do like stuff for my shoulders and my posture muscles. So I'm gonna have five more sessions after yesterday. So maybe towards the end, I'll be able to film something. Right now, oh, Ovi, can you throw your ball? You want me to throw your ball, Babus? Yeah, okay. That's his favorite game ever, hands down, easily. Anyway, the brownies I made yesterday weren't like the biggest fail in the world because they still taste good and I did snap a photo, but it's not the photo I need to send to the brand today. So I'm back at it in the kitchen. I'm gonna try making cookies instead because I feel like those might come out easier like they're more likely to come out well so i'll keep you posted this is like the wettest batter i've ever tried to make cookies with um but it's the big man's world and he always has like really good recipes so we'll see okay, i think this actually might be a win 
I basically took them out of the oven and then popped some of the chocolate on there, the Johnny Doodle chocolate. And they're kind of like, I don't know, I feel like they're gonna be a good, really nice chewy texture. So I have another batch in the oven and then I'll be able to shoot them. So much happier today than I was yesterday. Woo! to shoot my recipe so I'm just gonna paint my thumb and pointer finger so I can hold up the cookies pro tip you don't need to paint your whole hand if only two of your nails are in the photo red is hard red is I'm really good at painting my nails but red is is a challenge it's tricky she's bright she stains a little bit how'd we do not great my thumbnails also really short Oh well, it's okay. Nails are done, just the two. And I wanna taste test a cookie because I feel like that's only fair that I actually know what they taste like before I plan to post the recipe slash I just want one. And people love to see like the texture and the inside of baked goods. So I'm gonna pick like the ugliest cookie. Well, maybe not the ugliest one, you still want it to look good. So these are how they turned out. I think they came out pretty good. I don't know, I'm excited. So I'm gonna try it. Okay, mm -hmm. really good. Also like a little half baked on the inside kind of thing. They're vegan and gluten free, so maybe that's why. So now I have the inside of a cookie to show and I'm gonna take the shot. It's kind of hard to shoot in here because it's actually so dark in my parents' kitchen, but I lined up the cookies on the marble background like by the window so that there's some natural light. Um, it's gonna be a little shadowy, but I can fix it. I took a few like, with the um, cookie here. Actually, the lighting is better in the video. I'm gonna go edit them and then send the caption over to the brand for approval. Like, yum, that looks so good. Okay, I just made lunch. I am starving. I think I've just been eating like baked goods all day, except for this horrible smoothie I made this morning that I did not wanna show you. I just made some eggs, avocado, and some sauteed vegetables with like salt and garlic powder. But that's pretty much it. I think I'm gonna close out the vlog for today. This weekend, we're going to see a Broadway show and decorate our tree, so I'll probably vlog then. And yeah, thanks for watching. And like, subscribe, comment, blah, blah, blah. Love you all and see you soon. Bye.